parking for the I did rod. I think we're the first ones here. What's really cool about this right now is there at least we are there's no one here yeah and in in probably two or three hours from now before the idea to ride starts this will be lined with people oh, so wow. they bring out tables they they bring out little pavilion tents wood fires this whole thing will be one big giant tailgating party for probably the first five miles oh wow yeah it's pretty interesting i'm surprised nobody set something up before because there's nothing when i came by here last year there's i mean this is all going to be tailgating wow Huh. Yeah, super cool. Now you can see, maybe, there's steam coming off that. There's a little open water down in there. Looks like somebody's getting ready here. That's right, trail side. So I'm thinking we can put the tent right here facing that way. That They'll be coming from this direction here. Okay. And so we'll be on this sweeping corner. You'll be able to see them. There's some bumps, so it'll be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, now, how is it for where the sun is? Is that fine? Or? Oh, it'll be fine. The sun will scoot along here anyway. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, that seems good. And then we'll face the door. Yeah. Okay. We have to unload the sled so we can get the boards out from, from there. Oh. And we'll be able to put our lawn chairs right here, and we'll have the wood stove here. Yeah. And so we'll be able to walk across here. Will the door be what way? This way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want us to fall down in one of those cracks like that way, then. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't be so bad, though. Well, like and the, the stove's going to be back here. I mean, either way, if you did it. So this, you still wouldn't want to... Yeah, I think what we'll do, let's do this. Move the chair. Let's do it this way here. There. And then the stove will fit in the middle there. And then there'll be enough space to put a chair on each side. Like this. The nice thing is, it's so cold, this is firm. Here, why don't you put your mittens on and hold this? And I'll do all the 
in cold work. Touching metal like this just pulls know, the heat right out of my, I have my leather gloves like for doing the plant. Uh, this is like, So if you watch my channel very much, you know that everything that I need to make the stove work, I keep inside the stove. So I've got stove pipe, stove pipe, legs, I'll put the legs on in a second here. This is a hoe, we'll put together, put that together in a second here. Spark arrestor, legs. Another piece of stove pipe. A couple legs. And a cap that we won't need today. All of these legs, I have pins that I can put on, and that way I can carry the stove when it's hot. Spark arrestor. You can see he's got a little straight on there. Let me just put him on here. There. Then we can put that stove pipe in. All right. Ready for fire? I kind of say I got some dryer lint below all my candling and I'm going to go ahead and start a start a match and get in there. All right, we'll just baby that along until it gets going. Okay, you can see there's the trail. And we got our door facing the direction the mushrooms will come so that we can see them coming so we can come out here and then the trail continues on down that way you can see other people are posting up down there. Hi. So this morning, it's nice and warm in here. This morning when we started out, it was about one. Yeah, in Anchorage, Anchorage. it was one degree, yep. And then by the time we got to where we were unloading the sled, it was about minus nine. Yeah, and Willow was minus nine this morning. Yeah. But I would say it's warmed up. Well, now it, that the sun's come up, well, we've been working too and we have the stove going. Well, but. and that's the thing, as I was saying, right? Because when we sort of started getting stuff going, I thought, oh, well, you know, my fingers and toes were a little cold, but all of a sudden they're warm. And so I think it's warmed up outside too, but you can also tell because it sounds a little different when you step on the snow, you know, like when it's yeah. zero and below, it's got more of a squeaky sound and that's not, there's not so much squeaky. So yeah, I think it's definitely above zero. Well, last night it got really, really cold. Yeah. And so the snow got that temperature, but now that the sun's beating on it, if it's untouched snow, I think that the, it reflects the sun really well, but when you have shadows uh -huh. and divots in it, then those shadows collect the heat from the sun a lot more oh okay so you know if you go out in the even flat pow pow where there's no mm -hmm. shade 
but then it just reflects it really well but when you have lots of shade like you did this morning all that shade the darker color collects more heat collects from the it, sun yeah. mm -hmm. this year there's only 33 mushers that have signed up for the iditarod that is the least they've ever had in the history of the iditarod a lot more athletes those are the dogs we bet there's less athletes too well of course because there's less mushers exactly <laughs> dog food but then they have to transport all of the stuff mushers need the full 1100 miles along the trail and so they drop off straw dog food booties um and everything that the mushers need they'll drop those off at the different checkpoints so the mushers don't carry everything with them that they need for the entire race they they can stop at the checkpoints when they check in they have a mandatory gear they check their mandatory gear and then they can pick stuff up and either stay at the checkpoint or they can go up away from the checkpoint and put straw out for their dogs and put their dogs up and cook food for them and stuff like that And so we're right by the trail here. That was the trail those guys are on. So we should probably get mushrooms here before too terribly long. Oh, wow. So we're going to get some water. Go in here for some tea. Obviously, it's cold. It's about 1130. Race starts in Willow at 2 o'clock. Two minute increments for starts between racers. So we're getting closer. Let's see where our water's doing. Oh, that's boiling. I think when we're standing outside, it'll be nice to have some warm tea. So watching all everybody get their tailgate places set up. We got tailgater party across the way from us now. My hand? No. Yeah, that's deeper than I thought it was. Oh, well. I'm gonna have moose sausage for lunch. And I'm gonna roast them inside the stove, which I've done before, but it's always kind of tricky because they are a big piece of meat. So we might put them in a skillet first and kind of bake them a little bit in a skillet and then finish them in the fire. Because they've got to cook all the way through and they're not already pre-cooked. These are the ones that we made. So I'm cooking my moose sausage. I just put it in here to kind of warm up. I'm going to finish it on a stick. Oh. Ooh. That was good, mm -hmm. huh? Well, that's... So our moose sausage, I finished it off in the stove on a stick. And we have asparagus here. this for dessert, this plate, so I want to clean it off the paper towel. Put that outside for now. Cool. Is that cooked all the way through?
right beside that trail for probably about what, an hour to race time. Um, yep. An hour to race time, and so it's just like a beehive of busyness of people going by. I think we've seen nearly every type of vehicle go by that we could. We've got a side by side out here. Snow machines, obviously. Well, side by side. Track. Side by side with track. Obviously, snow machines and Argo. Uh -huh. Skiers. Fat tire bike. Fat tire bike. Only one of those, right? Yep. People walking in. Mm -hmm. Where we're at right now, there's a lot of tailgaters. Yeah, but it's kind of fun. I mean, it's like a. It's like a little circus. Well, it's a circus, but it's also it's it is tailgating like you would before a big game. Yeah, and this so, is a big game. It is a big game. It's the biggest game in Alaska. That's right. Although I would say I think the Iron Dog's a big game too, but it doesn't get nearly the quantity of people at it that this does. Yeah. yeah. I often think these are better when out camping oh, and yeah, then at yeah. home. <laughs> I agree. And so we made this new sausage ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's about 20% pork and it's got spices in it moose and then it's stuffed inside of a natural hog casing. Once water starts boiling, let a frying pan I'll clean it off with a rag and dump it outside. It's boiling. It's not boiling enough for me. Oh I see that. That's just baby boiling. I want the real deal. Between last I did rod and this I did rod, four-time winner Lance Mackey d uh, died. Yeah. And I think that they Sad. kind of had a ceremony. Part of the ceremonial start yesterday was dedicated to him. They did. With that. What I would really like to see, though, is I'd like to see a woman win it again. Well, there's the two sisters running. That'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. Yeah. I suspect they'll probably run together. I don't know. And so, but it, you know, it's been a long time since a woman run this, won this race. I think the closest we've had in a long time was... Phoebe Genre, right? Allie Zirkle. Oh, Allie Zirkle, yes. I yes, thought yes. Allie I Zirkle Allie was going to win it. And we have two people from other countries, I think. It was only two. One from South Africa and one from Australia. So, the South African. I mean, do they have snow there? How would you train a dog sled team? I don't know. Maybe that's... I don't know. I, I don't know, and I would. <laughs> I say this when we do. Wasn't there someone from Australia? Is that what you said? And someone from Australia. Looks like that side by side got stuck out there.
a great trip to Nome. Thank you. Check this out. Score.